I want the caddy. I'm happy with the velour, not even leather. I'm happy. What do I end up with? Damn Asian ant fox. <laughs> Must have forgot their keys. Hold it, we got a big. Hey, watch it, Eddie. He's got a gun. Since when's a ham sandwich 275 has Since last Friday. Didn't know Tomain had gone up. We don't use none of that. It's all homemade. <laughs> What? We got a 1020. Could be a homicide. Vic conscious? Nope. Ambulance is on the way. Uh, around the potholes, huh? The suit's just back from the cleaners. Odds? 50-50, but I'm an optimist. I've seen this guy. Akbar! Hey. Any ID? He took his wallet, but we ran the car. Hey, who owns a bench, Eddie? Come on. Let's register to Charles Halsey in Kew Gardens. Oh, that's great. That's just terrific. You know the guy? Councilman Halsey, ring a bell. Third bag was always mobbing off about the streets being unsafe. I hate media cases. They try to get close to you, looking for anything that they can get 500 words out of you. 99% of them don't care about you, the case, or who to hurt. They just want to sell papers. And if you talk to them, they start calling you at the office, tying up the lines. If you don't talk to them, they start writing about how the police are stymied. Then the phone calls come in from the brass downtown. You can't smoke that in here. It's not lit. Not bad, Streets, it was big news to you people. Then you all just got tired of hearing the truth. Oh, sure, you were all there at his press conferences, but he was just exercising his lungs. Now do you understand what Chuck Halsey was screaming about? Our streets aren't safe for anyone. You can check with our office on Chuck's condition. We'll have regular medical updates. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Do you have any idea what your husband was doing in that neighborhood? Excuse me. Okay, got it. He made it through the surgery, and that's half the battle. We'll call you immediately if anything changes. Thank you. Who are you? I'm Detective Logan. This is Detective Greeby. Sorry about your husband, ma'am. You're the investigating officers. Uh -huh. We heard it was two black kids. You have anything else? Not yet. Did you give me a description of his personal items, ma'am? Victor Walker. He always carried a, uh, a brown alligator wallet and um he had a star sapphire ring and a um a gold and diamond rolex and he always had about five hundred dollars cash your husband have any enemies chuck halsey is one of the most respected and liked men in this district i'm sure he is ma'am what are you asking me i thought you knew who did it oh we knew two black kids were there but they didn't drive him to that location do you have any idea what he was doing way out there Chuck had a political dinner. I was there. It uh, ended around 10.30. Did he leave alone? I have no idea. You're going to be able to catch these uh, kids? I'm not going to lie to you. It'll take a break or a miracle. What kind of miracle? One of them walking in and confessing might help. Uh, 
we have to get back to the precinct garage. Um, we'll, we'll try to get your car back to you as soon as possible, ma'am. Thank you, Detective. All right. Aren't you got a real charge out of your sense of humor? Yeah. Are you trying to tell me that this thing plays straight? Let's check Halsey's car. What was he doing there after a political dinner? Let's check the car. Oh, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you got? Old rumors. That's great. What kind? Rumor was that he ran the pad in the criminal courts. He's a bad man? Was, if you believe the rumors. Oh, this really frost my cookies, Max. You mind telling me why you didn't tell me? Because you're already leaping to conclusions, for Pete's sakes. About the only probable conclusion that we can draw is that the black kids took whatever they found. Let's check the car. 